Camtasia Studio's caption feature has been greatly enhanced for version 7.1. We've included an ADA compliancy mode, incorporated a few new ways to add captions to your timeline, and added font attributes for text customization. I'll point out some of the new caption features in this overview video, then you can watch the other captions tutorials to learn the specifics. And of course you can always view the help file for more detailed information. If you don't see the Captions tab, expand the More menu and select Captions. Note that I already have captions present on my timeline. This makes it easier for me to show you many of the new features. By default, all captions are set to meet ADA compliancy in the produced video. This includes the ADA recommendations for font size, caption alignment, and number of words per line. Also in version 7.1, you now have control over the font attributes using this toolbar. If you ever want to change back to ADA compliant mode, just click this button. This button toggles the view of your captions to be on top of the video or under the video. For closed captions, you'll want to use the On Video option. Notice that as you make changes in the Captions tab, the preview window is updated. To delete captions from your video, right click the timestamp beside one of the caption points and select Delete Caption or Delete All Captions. If you already have audio on the timeline, use the speech-to-text feature to automatically generate captions from this audio. When you click this button, you'll be prompted with some tips to help with accuracy, including how to train your computer to understand your voice, setting up your microphone, and how to add words to the speech recognition dictionary. Watch the speech-to-text video tutorial to learn more about this feature. You can manually add captions just by clicking here and entering your text. The caption is automatically inserted on the timeline, and you can drag each edge to sync it with the audio. Watch the video tutorial about adding captions manually to learn some best practices. If you prepared a script for the audio in your video, copy the script to the clipboard and paste it here. Then use the Sync Captions option to synchronize the captions with the audio. Check out the Sync Captions with Script video tutorial to learn more. And finally, you can import a prepared caption file from a third-party provider to automatically create synchronized captions on the timeline. Supported formats include SAMI, SMI, and SRT. This is also very helpful if you're having your videos translated into multiple languages. The Export Captions button will export all captions on the timeline as an SRT or SAMI file. This exported file includes the caption and video synchronization data that can be shared with a third-party service provider. Be sure to view the import and export video tutorial for more detailed information. That concludes this captions overview video. Thanks for watching.